that. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to interrupt you. Okay. Before the next one, because our twi- our twittering has has working is working out. Our t- our Twitter uh, feed is W E N O T N O, and um, today I've put up four questions. Uh, I think in the states it, they're trying out uh, twittering as radio. That's to say, you can put bits of sound of indefinite length. But I would just like to say that to all the listeners and maybe for first time listeners and um, current listeners that's been listening for quite a while if you've tuned in to this show for quite a long time you'll know what I was talking about you know what I'm you know you will know what I'm talking about what I'm talking about was when we first started this show I was saying that well basically people would pe- people would um, resort to online uh, resources and possibly even listen to radio online and we always not quite sure that would happen but I, I was I was saying that in 2014 when we first started to show the we not know show so it, it seems like my my my, uh, my my ideas has come as or my prediction for for this particular um, way has come true yeah, but it's not. Re- it's, so far, it hasn't replaced FM, has it? it hasn't replaced FM at this we're stage. Because we're still doing the show. It's for example. still doing the show, but you could still do the show, and you could you could have it all broadcast online. Um, which but, it is. But yeah, which it is. But I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna change. I think. I think the FM signal is slowly di- is slowly well, going to die. Well, j- I think I think in the next ten years or so you're going to see a flip flop, and I think more or less radio is going to be streamed from from website over the from websites over the internet. Um, I think you're seeing more 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 of that. You're able to access more radios online. I think people do listen more online now. I think. Um, some people are still you still get your people that are listening through FM but I think I think it's I think maybe not immediately but I think in the next 10 10 to 20 years you'll see a flip flop in ha- on how many of how many people listen to FM having having said that I think the case is the the license Phonic FM's license with Ofcom Runs to twenty seven or somewhere like twenty nine. Well, yeah, that there's there's there's, there's there's a long there's a long way to go. Yeah, but that's what and I'm talking. Sorry, so I just just want to say that they're not going to turn FM off. No, in other words, no. But I'm not implying that, am I? What I'm saying is, it's going to happen over a slow over a slow bandwidth. It's not going to happen next week, next month, next year. You know, the year after that, the year after that, it's going to be a gradual thing. Yeah, I, I wasn't implying that it was gonna that they were gonna turn FM off. What I'm saying is, I think it, I think things are gonna change over time. Yeah, over a long time. You know, don't don't let my colleague misconstrued your understanding of what I'm trying to say. He's very misleading sometimes. I'm not, I'm not misleading. I was trying to clarify, but anyway. Well, can I'm I sure ca- the listeners. Can I ca- can, um, I, can, I, can, I sh- can I carry on explaining this tweet, John? Well, I'm sure, but I would just like to get across to the listeners that I'm sure the listener, I'm sure the listeners understood me perfectly well before you interrupted me. Okay, okay. I just thought yeah. people people will carry on tuning in to 106.8. No, we do want for people to, to start knowledge, listening to FM. Will still be there. Yeah, well, we we'll do still want. Anyway, look, no, John, I do want to say... Well, you might be dead by the time... Well, I might be dead, John, yes. Statistically, I'm... Yeah, the FM may outlive me. I think that's quite possible. But that's oh. a good thing. If, 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 if it does outlive you, I shall, uh, I shall talk about FM at your funeral and well, that's tell, a, that's a very and good thing. tell everybody how much you loved it. Yes, yes, yes. I, st- I, st- anyway. I, may, I may leave you my collection of compact discs, John. Well, you should leave I'm me I'm sure some. you'll look after them. You should leave me something, surely. Certainly. Anyway, look, can I just go back to my tweets? Because yeah, we, sure. having discovered that in the States, we believe, as, a, a, an, on, as an experiment, that Twitter has got bits of audio you can add to your tweet. Or some other company is coming up with bits of audio. <laughs> you, you can do that here, can't you? Well, I'm not sure that you can, John, because I think you have to pretend that it's video. So that's okay. what, what, I've, I've, what I've done. I've taken... Um, I've taken a bit of audio which is quite long, which is, mm. is actually part of the drama show on Thursday, mm. and I've broken it down into four tweets, which are each under well, they're under half a minute, some of them, but there's certainly no not more than a minute, 
So as tweets, they're allowed. Mm. And so there's four questions, which I shall gradually introduce during the course of the show. But the one that's moved up to the top is about digital humanities and telematics for the reason it's been retweeted by totally real DH person who is not a robot. Mm. Many of their tweets make perfect sense. Right. They may be generated by some sort of text device, but anyway, retweeting this seems, seems very sensible. So I'll just go into the detail of it. What was telematics? What is digital humanities? And my reason for asking that is telematics is the last time I think the St Luke's campus in Exeter had a real interest in online learning and so forth. And um, Digital Humanities, there's a, there's a lab on the other campus and they are producing uh, learning materials to support the online, whatever's going on. So we'll, co we'll come back to this later on, but I just think it's interesting that that has been retweeted. And we'll try and find out. If anybody's listening who knows more about telematics or what sort of research or teaching or whatever has gone on the St Luke's campus in the last five years or so, that would be interesting. And also um, digital humanities, what sort of stuff is being produced and um, what happens to it. That would be, that would be interesting as well. Just to give an Exeter sort of take on all these things. Right. So thank you, John. I've, I've, I've made my point now. Okay. 